Hello friends, today we have a very interesting video. As you see, I have 20,000 souls and I'm about to open Sub-Zero and Scorpion packs. I'll spend 10,000 for each, so we'll open 50 packs of each and we'll see which one is more common and how many of them usually you can get for 50 open packs. I hope this data will uh, help you to decide if you should try opening those packs because some people get them from the first try, some people open lots of packs and still don't get them. But by opening 50 packs we'll try to determine how rare they really are. So uh, souls I got from the site happygamer.ml it's a site where you can get souls really cheaply and you can get uh, even classic scorpions, classic sub-zero, slasher jason, any character in the game you can get there very cheap. So th those guys helped me to get a lot of souls for this experiment. So I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna start opening 50 classic scorpion packs first and then 50 classic sub-zero packs. As you see my collection is now empty. Let's go to... oops. Let's go to collection. That's all I have. So I'm gonna be opening packs and in the end we'll see how many of uh, each character we'll have. And uh, like a buy result we'll have the rarest and the most common character in the game. We'll see if I will be able to max out at least one character. So let's the experiment begin and I'm gonna open packs in the fast motion. And uh, in the end, I'll do some comments. So let's go, guys.
got 50 packs open and let's see where it get us let's uh, let's sort our collection by by a uh, fusion and as you see the rarest cards uh, so far are Venomous Dvorak, Quan Chi, Reptile, Tactical Sonia. Well, it's it's just a middle stage, uh, and we already have maxed out Hatrick Kun Lao. And as you see, we got only two classic Scorpions among, among 50 packs, which is just embarrassing. And both of them were in this very end. So guys, if you got him from your first try, you can consider yourself extremely lucky. So let's continue to the classic Sub Zero combat pack openings. Let's go. guys we opened 100 packs i think it was a few more because we had to sell a few cards so we got some extra souls and i gotta admit that we had more luck with classic sub-zero than with classic scorpion but i don't think it means that classic sub-zero is uh, more common i think it just means that odds were in my favor at the beginning so we can go to uh, to collection and let's see what we got so, uh, we have a few characters mixed out. Those are Swarm Queen Vora, Demolition Sonia Blade, Hatrick Kun Lao, and Grandmaster Sub-Zero. 
It's uh, Grandmaster Sub Zero is really, uh, really surprising me because I thought it was about the same as Inferno Scorpion, but as you see, we haven't got a single Inferno Scorpion. It's just amazing. Inferno Scorpion is proving to be uh, one of the rarest cards in the game, and Classic Sub Zero is a little bit better than Classic Scorpion. As you see, we got four Classic Sub Zeros and two Classic Scorpions, which is not a great result which makes uh, only six cards, six classic cards among 100 packs. I think if we assume that uh, probability to get one of them is the same, like they're equally common or equally rare, we can say that you can generally get six classics from 100 packs. So, for example, if you want to max out classic scorpion, Probably 100 packs won't be enough. If you're lucky, I, I I can assume that I wasn't lucky, that I even was unlucky, but 6 cards from 100 packs, guys, are you kidding me? Let's count, 100 packs, it's uh, tw uh, 20 something souls, it's $1,000. So, if I want to max out one uh, character like Sub-Zero or Scorpion, I have to spend more than $1,000, it's just ridiculous, guys. So, if you ask me, is it worth to open packs to get those guys? Absolutely not. Even if you're using Retry Trick, you'll have to waste a lot of souls and you'll spend hours maxing out those characters. If you have a lot of free time, you're free to do it, but I would definitely go to Happy Gamer site. You can find the link in the description and you can get those characters. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're in store or not, you can just get them anytime. So, I think it's it's the best way to do it, because it's just ridiculous. They are almost... Classic Scorpion is one of the rarest characters. It's supposed to be like... He, he's supposed to be common in those packs. The pack is so much more expensive, and they put so little of Scorpions and Sub-Zeros in it. As you see, Assassin, Kitana, Bajitsu, Kunji, Noxious, Reptile, Tactical, Sonya, Blade, and, and that's it. Those... Uh, all the characters I got only once, and I'm pretty sure there are a few characters that I got zero copies. Let's see, uh, somebody except Inferno Scorpion. Let's see, Inferno Scorpion. Well, those uh, others you cannot find in the in the combat packs, as as I found out. So we we have every single character you can find in the combat pack except Inferno Scorpion, which is super weird. And what else I want to say is that, well, I don't think they changed the frequency from the last time. I think the pack is still the same. I'm I'm pretty sure I was extremely unlucky. So I'm you can probably get around eight cards from 100 packs. So one maxed out character from 100 packs. It's just ridiculous, but this is just my thought. If you want to try your luck, there are so many people that just draw a few of them from the first time and you have a good chance to be that lucky, but you have an even greater chance to be not as lucky and maybe even as unlucky as me. It took me around 40 packs to get my first classic Scorpion. So guys, see you yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like more pack openings, I have an idea to open combat uh, card packs till I get gold card and uh, count the probability of getting uh, the gold card from combat pack. Maybe something to do with alliance packs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you put a like, subscribe to the channel, because more awesome videos about MKX and other games are coming every day now. I'm trying to upload every day. Sometimes I may miss a day, it depends on how busy I am, but I'm doing my best, guys, to, to serve the best content for you. So, have a great day and thank you for watching.